Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with another Diffy tutorial. This week I'm showing you how to add a digital signature field to the Divi contact form. So we'll be using our very popular Divi contact form helper, which by the way has over 100 features now. And one of those newer features is a digital signature field. So I'm going to walk through the steps of how to set this up and how it works. All right, so come on over to the blog post and I'll have you know the screenshots and instructions there. Um, everything that you need to, to do is listed here, including just you know installing the plugin. That's the first step. You will need our plugin, the Divi Contact Form Helper. That's the only way to do it in Divi. Um, this plugin adds features to the existing contact module. So it's not a new module, it just upgrades the existing one. And, and one of those features is well, yeah, there's hundreds of features, but one of them is the digital signature field. So we'll kind of um, start over. I, I have one here. That's a mistake. Um, technically, this is two, so I miscounted. I'll fix that. Um, but anyway, first thing is to add a new field, and we're going to set that as a digital signature pad. So I'll, I'll walk through this on a demo site. All right, so in the builder, I'm going to add a contact form module, or you could use the one you already have added now you will notice there are extra features as we work in here that are added by the plugin so i'm just going to add a new field so click on add new field now you'll have like different toggles here inside this field so now see i'm inside the field or like right here i can go back into it um, i'm going to give it a label and i'm just going to call it a signature that way it helps me know you know um, well, the label is different from the ID. In fact, I will make it the same for the ID just to keep that um, organized. All right, so scroll down and then there's field options right here. Well, under field options, the type is input field. That's just default. We, we're not able to add extra options here. So instead we add them other ways. So you, right here, use as signature pad, enable that. Okay, now again, that's in the field options toggle and that's inside the individual field okay so that's the first thing that you will need to do now we do have a description option here you could use this um, you could use this to say like um, whatever if we want to like give some instructions okay that's that's all I'm doing here in fact let me jump back to the tutorial so that's step number two just add optional label and description text um, you can do that with our plugin so our plugin adds those options for the front end, a label for the fields, um, a description for the fields, things like that. Now, we can go ahead and exit the builder after that, and it should look something like this. Let's, let's take a look. All right, so here we are on the front end, and you can see it just says, please use the signature pad. That's the description I added. So I could, you know, I could write my name right here, okay? Now let's say I do that. Uh, and let's say I send, send this in. Oh, by the way, you have to click save here and then you'll see the little pop-up. But yeah, save. It says the signature has been saved successfully. That's great. All right, I'll do the captcha. And now I'm going to just submit this. And that signature will actually, it will create like a, a an image of that. And it's going to save that with the entry. Now I'm going to go to the back end to the contact form entries. And I'm just going to view that entry. So the latest entry here. Um, there it is. It has my, my information that I entered and here is the signature. In fact, I could click on it like that and I can, I can look at it. I could download it if I wanted to. Um, but there you go. And by the way, this can also be sent along to the admin email as an attachment. So when I sent this, you know, the admin email that I had set up, I would be getting this like in Gmail or whatever. And this signature, <laughs> as great as it is, uh, that would show up as an attachment. So that's that's really cool. Now you probably noticed the design of this field is, is very, you know, standard and that's okay. Um, but if you want to, you know, do anything to this field, right, this area here, change the background, add a border, or shadow, like those kind of things, or the, the text that showed up after I submitted it, it was down here at the bottom of it, or the save button or the clear button. You can do that with the design settings. And that is um, step four. Um, in fact, there you can see them in my screenshot there. Um, but yeah, just following along here. 
I would open up that digital signature field again. And then in the design tab, if I look under signature pad in that toggle, you'll see that there's four tabs now inside this toggle. So this one is pad and, and, and I'll, I'll adjust some of these just so you can see like super obvious, but like I'll make that green. Here you can adjust the width and height of the pen color. Like when, you, when you're writing, I'll make that orange, you know, maybe I'll make it like a little thicker. Here you can add like um, margin or border, things like that. Here I'll do the radius. I'll add a, a crazy border or something like that and a box shadow. Make it really like super obvious. And then um, like the buttons, save button here. I could, it's blue. I could um, make it green. Um, and again, I could, I could change the design settings of it. Maybe I want to make it bigger text or clear. Let's we'll make it this other red. Um, text you know maybe i want to maybe i want that text to be uh blue and larger and bold all right now we're going to save and of course all the settings um show when you exit the builder because divi can't render those custom settings all right and so what a wonderful field design we have created here indeed all right so <laughs> let's go ahead and submit this one again and i'll just see it's orange it's thicker and then when I click save, which happens, I've made the button the same color as the background. Um, watch this. When I click that, we'll see this is blue. You know, it's larger. We've styled the buttons. <laughs> I styled the button so bad I can't see it. Um, but anyway, that that is um, what we've done, the design settings. And here when we view the entry, we actually see it in the color that we have chosen. So you want it to be enough contrast. The, the green and orange is really ugly, but you get the idea. So that wraps up the tutorial. Again, you, you just a quick summary, obviously add the contact form helper, then add the field like normal, enable the signature pad. You can write any optional label, show the label on the front end, that kind of thing. Um, add a description if you want to, again, these are optional. Um, then you're just previewing it there and adjusting the design settings. So pretty straightforward, I think. And like I said, we did pass 100 main features in this plugin, which is really crazy. Um, it's become quite a powerhouse. Um, a lot of that is due to your feature suggestions and just, you know, things that we continue to do to improve it. And we have a long list of things that we want to add. So um, it does help to, to get like um, community feedback on what features you want to see. But overall, I'm really excited to add this. This was one of the probably more popular feature requests. Um, to add the signature pad. So we're excited that this is now available and we hope you enjoy using that. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.